Hello guys, welcome back. Today we are going to talk about how to uh, change the default data directory uh, of PostgreSQL from C drive to a new location which is D drive or E drive. So basically what happens, so little bit background, so when we work on our C drive and we download a lot of data in PostgreSQL. So what happened there is a space issue, space problem is there definitely, storage problem. So due to that, what we wanted to do is basically we want to change the, uh, you know, the default data directory where we store the data from C to different data directory like D or E, D drive or E drive where we can store our data. So there are two ways. So firstly, when you install your PostgreSQL for the first time, there itself it is asking what will be your default data directory. There you can change. So how to install the PostgreSQL? I have already um, a video available in um, YouTube. You can go through it. I'm going to put that link in the description. You can go through it. So this is the video I'm going to talking about how to download and install the PostgreSQL on Windows. So here if you see, um, there is, it is asking the data directory, right? So the data directory default one is C program file PostgreSQL 14 data. So this one is the default one. Now you can change this when you, when you are installing the file that time. But mostly what happened is when we install the data, I mean when we install the PostgreSQL, we always install with the default one by this one. Now later when we work, after some days, when we download a lot of data, then we got to know, oh, we need to change this one to some other drive where we have space, okay? So now there are two ways. This one, if you already knew this, so when you install this, you can change this one, okay? This is the first one. Now the second one, which I'm going to talk about in this uh, tutorial, that how I'm going to, how, I, how we are going to change the default one from C drive to different drive. Now this is the process or this is the step by step process that we need to follow to change uh, the default data directory from C drive to some other drive. Now first you need to understand where the uh, default data directory is. So to, to do that if you go to your computer, now I am going to a computer here. Um, now you can go to your C drive, this is my C drive you can see. Now here I can go to program files, under program files then you can see PostgreSQL here. Now under this there is called 14, now there is called data. So this is your default folder or data directory where your data in PostgreSQL is storing. Now you can see this is my PG admin 4. Um, GUI which I am using for my PostgreSQL and all the data, all the database that I have like you know, um, all, all the data is storing in that folder only, okay. So basically what I wanted to do, I want to change the default data directory from C drive to D drive PostgreSQL folder, okay. Let's say under this, I'm creating one more folder called data, okay. Let's say data, okay. So basically what I, wa what I wanted to do, I want to change my default data directory from C drive to this one, okay. So what I need to do is step by step procedure I'm going to follow. First one, go to your control panel. So I need to go to my control panel. So control panel. Now then I will go to administrative tool. I have already mentioned there. You can just follow it. Then I will go to services. Now here you can see PostgreSQL is there, so you can see here PostgreSQL. Now this service is running, you have to stop it. So before that make sure all your application 
or .exe file anything related to PostgreSQL has to be closed. This PG admin 4 is already open. I have to close this one as well. So first close this. Then I I have to stop this service. Okay. So refresh it and then I'm going to stop this PostgreSQL service. Okay. So I'm going to stop it. Right click on and stop. Okay. So now I am stopping this PostgreSQL service here. This is done. So you can see here the steps. Go to control panel, administrative tool, service, stop PostgreSQL. This is done. Now next is copy the data files to new location. So the data file is already in our C drive. So this data, this one, you have to control A, control C, right? So this is so this is my new folder where I want to store the data. This is my D drive, PostgreSQL data. So paste it here, right? I copied all it, all the data, all the data from there to here, because um, all the data that I have already uh, downloaded there, I'm copying those things to here. Okay. So this is the one. This is the new data directory where I want to store all of my PostgreSQL data. Okay, this is done. So once this is done, um, so what you need to do, you need to, you need to go to your control panel. Now you go to registry editor. Okay. All the steps is mentioned here. You can just follow it. Okay. Now here you have to go to key local machine, then system, then card control, service, then PostgreSQL. Here I have already clicked one by one. You can see. So first I went to H key local machine, then I click on system, then I click on controls, current control set, then I click on services, then I click on PostgreSQL. So here is my image path so once so here you can see this is the one that i mentioned so now in this image path path you can see the this is the default folder where all of my data has been restored so uh, data has been stored so i need to change this one so i need to change this to the new one the new one is this. So you have to copy this. Now here after D, okay, after D within this inverted comma, you have to change this directory to the new one. That's the game. So E PostgreSQL data and then you press OK. So once this is done, now if you click on this, you can see the new data directory is here. Okay. All right. You close this one. Now make sure all these things has been closed. All right. Now you go to services and you have to start this service. So right click and start. Yes, so now you can see your PostgreSQL has been started. So now if you open your PG admin 4, all right, and whatever the data you are going to store, it's going to store in the new folder or new drive. So here you can see the PG admin 4 has been started and uh, so these are my database this is my database now whatever the file i'm going to open or like whatever the file file i'm going to download is going to store the data in the new e drive instead of my c drive so this is how um, you need to change the default data directory from c to some other drive as per your uh, requirement to store the data in PostgreSQL. Thank you so much for watching this. Hopefully, this video will help helpful for you guys. If you need anything 
uh, or any issues or any error, do let me know in the comment box. I'm going to reply back and help you out to solve that problem. Thanks guys for watching this video. Thanks.